Egads, save yourselves! The Kraken emerges! Poseidon has unleashed his beast! From the depths, a fearsome sea creature takes aim upon another. But the victor of this epic aquatic battle may not be the one you think. In this matchup, who will be victorious? What ancient creature will survive? Let's dive in, literally. The octopus is surprisingly one of the most ancient beings still on Earth today, way outliving the dinosaurs, and they date back a whopping 296 million years. These underwater creatures even existed during the Carboniferous period. Look at these mushy, soft globs of creatures. You don't ever really think, oh look, there's a killer, or what a smart little thing. But these guys are not as mild-mannered as they appear. In today's video, we're going to talk about everything that makes octopuses, yes, that's the correct plural for octopus, special, unique, and deadly. One major reason not to mess with this mighty prehistoric invertebrate, they are all venomous. A quick nibble to an enemy can paralyze him long enough for the octopus to flee. The poison is produced in the poison gland and released through the parrot-like beak of the octopus. Although most octopuses will not produce enough venom to kill a person, there are exceptions to every rule. Meet the blue-ringed octopus. This teeny, tiny Australian wonder packs enough venom to kill almost 30 people. Whoa! 1,000 times more potent than cyanide, victims of this bite won't know they've been exposed until they literally drop dead. Their poison is a neurotoxin and shuts down the victim's lungs. This girl was exceptionally lucky not to die from just holding this bitty thing. It feels really cool. There is currently no anti-venom for the blue-ringed octopus's bite either. Not everyone knows they've been bitten. If you happen to get to a hospital fast enough and then are on a ventilator for about 15 hours to keep you alive, you can walk away from this encounter with your life and apparently no long-lasting side effects. But you could also die. Don't touch these octopuses. Australia is a wild place. Here we have a bird's eye view, pun totally intended, of an octopus using another one of its weapons. It's eight powerful arms covered in rows of suckers. Here, this unassuming seagull, who is probably just taking a well-deserved break, is grabbed by an octopus and drowned. This tactic is not unique to the octopus, as anyone who's seen an alligator at work may have seen a similar strategy. It must be in their How to Engage Others handbook. These suckers can attach themselves to the opponent's skin, or in this case feathers, and allow the octopus to grasp and strangle the enemy. A typical octopus has approximately 240 suckers on each arm, and a particularly large sucker can hold up to a whopping 35 pounds. Do you even lift, bro? On the other side of strength is sensitivity. The suckers can pick up subtle chemical signals and move individually, even folding in half in a pinching gesture. Fun fact, if an octopus loses an arm, it grows another one back in a matter of weeks. Like a haircut, but different. Another of the many interesting things about an octopus is its ability to use tools. See how this little guy is hiding? 1. Let's not litter, folks. Look at this octopus. He's using a clear plastic cup to hide. That should be in a recycling plant somewhere. Don't pollute the oceans, people. Octopuses are actually incredibly smart, but maybe not smart enough to know we can all see you in there. Anyway, just like Goldilocks, this small fry is looking for the best fit for his new hiding spot. Offered shell after shell until just the perfect match comes along. Using tools is one indication that octopuses are really very clever creatures after all. A variety of mammals and birds use tools, but for an invertebrate, this is pretty special. This may be because octopuses have nine brains. Wow, I know people who don't even use the one they have. Its nervous system is made up of one central brain and a brain at the base of each arm, which is why an octopus can be doing something different with each arm at the same time, taking multitasking to the next level. These creatures use their wits, like most animals, to stay alive. This little one, seeing a diver swim up to it, becomes instinctively protective and uses the set of three shells to hide its body. But of course, still curious, it's looking to see what's next. Nothing in the ocean is eating a shell, so it's probably pretty safe in there. A huge brain is its own tool and a massive benefit when hunting prey. 
It can help solve complex problems that other lesser species wouldn't think of. Take this guy right here. All those crab legs and bodies to devour and a cage getting in the way. What is a hungry octopus to do? Well, that problem-solving brain kicks in and boom, in he goes. Thinking outside the box while getting into the crate, the octopus can now enjoy his crab leg dinner, minus the garlic butter. Uh-oh, the fisherman, thinking his tramp would be full, tries to draw up his own dinner. The octopus needs to think quickly here, or that might just have been his last supper. In moves Harry Houdini would have been proud of, this invertebrate maneuvers his flexible body out of there in no time, leaving a trail of crab carcasses behind him, and no dinner for the hard-working fisherman. Octopuses also use that impressive brain power for preservation in other ways. Shells aren't the only hiding spots in the sea. This sand octopus looks pretty exposed down there on the ground. While some of his fellow cephalopods can change colors to camouflage themselves, this guy doesn't have that option. His individually smart tentacles are out there feeling around for just the right spot. Watching him compact his body into this tiny space, blow out all that sand and basically bury himself for safety is like watching kids bury their friends up on the beach. Because they have no bones, an octopus can practically squeeze into any space. Once he's down there, he simply looks like any old shell, and predators would be sure to pass by without notice. Octopuses do so much more than hide from a predator. As we can see, they're quite good at concealing themselves into their surroundings, but they have a few other tricks up their sleeves. Each octopus is equipped with an ink sac with a gland that creates the ink. When detected by its attackers, the octopus will suddenly release an amount of ink to scare him off or obstruct his vision until it manages to escape. The opening through which the ink is released, called the siphon or funnel, is the same opening through which its bodily waste is expelled. Yup, he's peeing ink all over his enemies. An octopus's life is tragically short, with most species living only a few years maximum. These abbreviated lives are lived fully as both predator and prey. Dogfish and reef sharks, dolphins, and even moray eels are known to enjoy eating octopus. But like we've seen, the octopus has numerous ways to defend itself or to strike back. Here we see this shark found a well-camouflaged octopus among the rocks. Look at those ninja tentacles and how they're fighting the shark off, wrapping around its body like a boa constrictor. Think they have the same sensei? So, we've learned some pretty great things today about the mighty octopot, no, octopuses. An octopus can kill you or a bird or even a shark. This guy looks like he's chowing down at one of those all-you-can-eat buffets. They're smarter than most creatures in the ocean, with all nine of their brains, and they certainly are masters of disguise. They know how to use all of their tools to their advantage and are certainly not the mindless, globby creatures they appear to be. It's a good metaphor for life. Nobody is quite what they seem.